want to go back now to that vicious dog attack in Brandon. As ABC Action News reporter Lauren Rosella shows us, Honey's owner says this little dog did what she could to protect her in her final moments. Georgette Walker says she was just sitting here in her garage with her dog Honey on this leash when she saw two dogs across the street. Then one of them came up and charged her little Yorkie, ending in tragedy. For Georgette Walker, she can't stop reliving her worst nightmare come true. She's now haunted by visions of teeth growling in her little dog Honey's blood. It just shook her. Just shook her. Like she was a toy. As she watched in horror, Georgette, who was bound to a wheelchair, watched helplessly as one of the dogs started to carry Honey away. I can't watch this. I can't watch this. It was bad enough I had to hear it. Georgette tried to separate the dogs when her chair got caught in a dip in the yard. She fell over as the dogs battled. That's when she says Honey started biting back. Georgette says all to protect her. There was no way I could get up. I was, I was shaking so bad. A neighbor came and beat the dog with this small rake, the only tool accessible. This is help my dog. It's my dog. My dog is getting killed. The dog finally released Honey, and police and animal control responded. Honey died soon after. Animal control says the dog that attacked Honey was a terrier pit bull mix. She probably died 20 minutes after we got there. Now family friends have come to help Georgette recover as her hand is infected. She hopes the county will cite the owner of the other dog. They should be held accountable for that dog's actions. But for Georgette? I don't have my companion. She's heartbroken as the only friend she saw every day is now gone. Lauren Rosella, ABC Action News.